Welcome back to the last um, poem, the last video for poetry. Okay, so this one is by a man named Percy Bysshe Shelley. Um, this was my dad's favorite poet, and that's why he named me after him, which is why I've spent my entire life telling people how to spell that word. Okay, so um, step one, I need to tell you that who this guy is, okay? It's pronounced Ozymandias. Ozymandias is another word for Ramses II. So I'm going to write that in here so we have it in the future. Ramses II. Ramses is the guy who was raised as Moses' brother. Um, you know the story of, oh, sorry, my cat's moving things. Um, Ramses was the one who grew up and uh, caused... Oh, caused all the problem for Moses. Um, he was the one who, his, you know, his mother was like a princess or something, and she found the baby in the um, basket. Okay, that story. That's Ramses. Um, so in the this, I'm not exactly sure why, but in this one he's referred to as Ozymandias. The idea here is that he was a man who was extremely powerful, but lost his power. And that's, that's the, the idea behind this poem is that everybody who is powerful will one day lose all of that power. And that's just the way life is. So I want you to visualize something here. Um, I've got a picture here, but it's also just about as easy to draw it. Um, visualize a, oops, sorry, hang on. Visualize <laughs> a, uh, what's that called? A uh, desert. Okay, you're visualizing a desert, and you've got a stand here, like a pedestal, and then you've got some legs that are broken off. You also have a face off to the side that's kind of half buried in the sand. That's what we want to think about here. There's a cat ball. Um, hang on, let me move the cat. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Now, sorry, she's mad at me now. Um... We're going to do something here. I want you to notice that there are three people speaking. So out to the side here, I'm going to write three speakers. There is a question that I'm going to use that asks you to identify the three speakers. So we're going to do that together. All right. So the first line says, I met a traveler from an antique land who said, two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them on the sand, half sunk, a shattered, okay, the word is normally visage, which means face, lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of, old, of cold command tell that its sculptor, well, those passions red, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. Okay, stop right there a second. Now, the sneer of cold command, sneer is an ugly look, Commanding, of course, you know what it means to command somebody. Cold command, meaning that you are not a pleasant boss. And that's what we're looking at here. This person has a wrinkled lip and a sneer of cold command. So it's not a happy boss. Um, so we have a pedestal here. Okay, so you've got a pedestal and you've got some feet. And, oops, sorry. You've got a pedestal, you got a feet. You've got um, it's sitting on the sand. Okay. Now, you also have some words. We're going to come back in a second and tell you on the pedestal. But for right now, all we need to think about is um, our three speakers. So the first speaker that we know of is a traveler. Okay. So speaker number one, the traveler. Now, the traveler has told us about what he saw. He saw two um, broken feet on a pedestal and a half buried face and the face. And this is a, a, a good point here. He says it's sculptor. Well, those passions red means that the person who sculpted this uh, statue knew Ozymandias well, because he was able to capture that ugly cold sneer in his face. Okay. On the pedestal, these words appear. Um, my name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Okay, so we have a traveler speaking. 
there's somebody else up here that I honestly just kind of forgot to tell you about. I apologize. The original narrator who's telling the story. So the narrator is telling you, I met a traveler. Okay, there's our narrator. The traveler says, these are the, the legs that I saw. Sorry, these are the legs that I saw. Now, the last thing I just told you was what the words on the pedestal. And those come from Ozzy himself. Ozymandias has said, and it's written here on the pedestal of his little ugly statue, it says, my name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Okay. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair, meaning look at everything I have accomplished and despair that you have not. Okay, that's exactly what he means here. Okay. Lastly, the traveler says, nothing else remains round the decay of that colossal wreck. Boundless and bare, the lone and level sand stretch far away. So this is a, a little touch of irony here. He's like, look at everything I have done. And then it says nothing. There's nothing left. Absolutely nothing there except that statue. So it's like, oh, really? Okay, I'm looking at what you've done. I see nothing. And that's the idea here. No matter how much you accomplish, no matter how high you rise, at the end of it all, you will be nothing but a broken statue. I mean, it's like every time we've gone into, um, American soldiers have gone into different places where there has been a dictator. There have been statues and posters and paintings and things of this dictator, whether that was Saddam Hussein or whether that was Hitler, or whether that was, um, oh, um, what's his name? Osama bin Laden. Well, no, he didn't have statues, but he did have some pictures. All of these dictator-ish things, like Ozymandias had, get torn down, okay? So that's, that's all that's left of this rise to power. Just a broken wreck and nothing left. Okay, so we have, I want you to remember, we have three speakers, okay? You have the traveler, excuse me, the narrator telling the story, the traveler who tells us what he saw, and then lastly, you have Ozymandias who's threatening us and saying, ha ha, I'm so awesome, look what I've done. Okay, so you've got what amounts to a be careful what you wish for situation because everything that you possibly could have done is now just history. Okay, and that concludes our poetry. That's the last one. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we are almost finished. Just uh, have some questions to answer, and then you guys are officially done with an English class. All right, see you later.